I'm Dr. Vanessa LaPointe. I'm a psychologist, parenting educator, and also a mom to two growing children. It can be really hard for us as parents to say the word no to our children. And yet, our children really do need to hear the word no. They need norms and they need rules and they need expectations. If children are permitted to grow in a very kind of permissive environment, they will reach adulthood and be set up for a very big kind of fall. You see, you need to hear the word no. You need to run into the brick wall of the things in life that cannot be changed, the things in life that will not work out in order to be able to figure out what do we do then? How do we adapt? How do we cope? How do we become resilient? It is actually part of our job as parents to make sure that our children have lots of opportunities for figuring out how to be adaptive and resilient as their brains are growing in such an incredible uh, kind of way so that they can reach adulthood and be capable of handling upset and disappointment. Now, why is it that parents often have such a difficult time with the word no or with setting limits? Well, I think there's a lot of dynamics playing into this. I think parents today are exhausted. And sometimes you just say yes to get out of there quickly because you don't wanna to have to deal with the difficulty of the upset that is your child coming to terms with the things in life that cannot uh, be changed or that will not work out for them. Other times I think it comes comes from a place of worry or a place of um, nervousness in us as parents, that we uh, want our kids to have the best and we want our kids to uh, feel like the world is their oyster and they're stepping into limitless possibility and limitless opportunity. And so we become a bit permissive because we don't want to derail them and we don't want to upset them. And there's this sort of anxious or nervous energy behind all of that. Whatever the reason, one of the basic premises of healthy child development is that our children actually need for us to be in charge. They need to experience what it is to be able to fully lean into and rest into the care of a very capable, very competent, very big parent. And if we are constantly maneuvering and changing the rules and saying yes when we should be saying no, we're not giving them that kind of an experience. They don't get to rest into our capable guidance and leadership. Instead, they'll go to lean in on us and find that we're not actually there. This is an alarming experience for the child and what will happen is that they won't be able to tolerate the upset of it. Instead, it will demand that the child steps into the lead of the dynamic rather than letting themselves blow about in the wind. And unfortunately, it often leads to children being in charge of us when we're actually meant uh, to be in charge of the child. So it is important that we find ourselves capable and competent as big people, that we are courageous enough in knowing that we will find a way through and that we do deliver the no's and the rules and the boundaries and the expectations as we are meant to to our children. Uh, the way that you can do that in order to have your child hear this and experience this in a way that's ideal for their development is to be reminded that when you say no, you at the same time need to be full of compassion compassion and kindness. It's this optimal balance of being kind and firm at the same time. If you go too big with kind, you're actually just going to be experienced by your child as sort of a weeble wobbly jellyfish kind of parent. And if you go too big with firm, you're actually just going to be experienced by your child as somebody who's mean and doesn't understand them. And so deliver that no and deliver it with a level of firmness that really shows you mean business and then flow in with kindness and compassion as your child reacts. I know you wanted a yes and I gave you a no. I know you're disappointed pointed. If I were you, I'd feel exactly the same way. I know you're really upset. Oh, I really get that. I could see how you can feel that way. And my answer is a no. Keep in mind as you uh, process all of this information that you don't need to go and manufacture a bunch of reasons to say no. Life, just as it plays out very naturally and normally, is going to present you many circumstances where it will be quite appropriate for you to say no. So don't feel like you have to say no just for the sake of saying no, but do say no when it's appropriate. Do say no when as a big person you are meant to be stepping into the lead role. Do say no so that your children can rest into your care and from that place grow exactly as nature intended.